All right, people, just going to do a quick deck profile for the deck that was the April Fool's deck for April Fool's 2015, the Bootylicious deck. So uh, if you haven't seen the live stream, you, there will be a link in the description. Go ahead and click it and watch it. Enjoy. It was a, it was a fun live stream, I must admit. But I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the deck profile and the rundown, the, uh, basically the ideas with the deck. So starting it off, of course, we have the main guy himself, the leader of the deck, the stone statue of the Aztec. So pretty much any battle damage your opponent takes when they attack this monster is doubled. So, uh, you know, his 2000 booty, then I use like D2 shield and then, you know, fairy box. And I, if I go fairy box, call it right, you drop down to zero D2 shield. I go up to 4000 D, you run into that, then you take double, bam, 8000 game. So uh, very powerful, very powerful booty play. You just run right into this booty, you know, you know. You know, I know your Anaconda don't win none, but this guy's got the buns, hun. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. So, uh, yeah, triple stone statue of the Aztecs. Then we have Stronghold Guardian. Uh, he doesn't really have the good D himself, but he's kind of like um, kind of like an honest uh, a, a hand trap during the damage step. Uh, if a defense position monster you control is attacked, you can send this card from your hand to your graveyard to increase your monster's attack. I mean, attack. Oh, I'm so used to saying attack. Defense by 1500 until the end phase. And they stack. So you can, if your opponent attacks into you, be like, during the damage step, go ahead and pitch him. Your defense goes up by 1500. And they stack. You can, if you have three of them, bam, that's, that, that's, that's 4500D right there. That is some big old booty cheeks that you're running into. Uh, it's also searchable by, Ro by Roto, so that's why, that's one of the reasons why we run Roto. So, yep, guard. Uh, I'm running Golden Sentry. Uh, he wasn't the best of cards, but he put in that work. So pretty much, if my opponent's not going on the offensive, I'll go on the offensive. So literally, I'll just go, all right, so the golden century, bounce that monster to your hand, poke you for 800, put him back down. And I just keep doing that until you come after me, until you attack me. And then when you attack me, that's when I hit you with all the bootylicious uh, traps that you don't want to get hit by. So, um, personally, I like him in here. He, he, helped, he helped out. He definitely did. I'm running uh, triple super heavy samurai blue brawler. Uh, just because he can't be destroyed by battle, so if I really need to sit on him, I can. In case I do summon a monster that's stronger than my D. So, and he also, he also has the 2000 D as well, so, you know, is that going with Marsh Milan or going with Spirit Rose? Like, you know what, let's just go ahead and go with the Super Heavy, uh, Brawler guy. And, uh, he saved my butt once, so, pretty good. Then, uh, Big Show Gardner. So, Big Show Gardner has the highest D of everybody with 2600. Uh, the only problem is if this card, uh, right down here, if this card... Uh, is attack, it turns to attack position during the end of the damage step. So, uh, that, uh, you might think that's a negative because, you know, he'll go to attack position and, you know, he only has 100 attacking you to kill him, but no. I, I pretty much the plan is I, you know, have my gardener, you attack into him, then I go ahead and activate D2 shield. So I double my defense, I go up to uh, 5200, but then I go to attack mode and you're like, oh, you only have 100 attack and then you attack me. And then I'm like, all right, during damage step, activate uh, inverse universe, which switches the attack and defense of uh, face up effect monster on the field. Uh, that's the attack changes permit. I do it during the damage step, and uh, now he has 5200 attack. You run to that, and you're probably dead at that point. So that's one of the reasons, and also he's searchable through Rota. So that's one of the reasons why I'm running Big Show Gardner. And then Debris Dragon. Uh, not only does Debris Dragon have the big booty of uh, 2000, but also uh, there's a lot of monsters in this deck that have 2000 less attack. So uh, I can go ahead and summon Debris, Debris, summon something, XC. Uh, you can clearly say I have some XC monsters, so yeah, I can go in Cowboy, Bang Bang, Ski Ski, GG, or maybe go on the offensive, one of these, use pull one of the cards in my toolbox, so, uh, yeah, I just decided to go ahead and throw the British Dragon in there, because he just kind of had synergy. Triple Rota, because these two are Warriors, Pot, because you want to grab your cards, even if you, you know, you reveal your cards to your opponent, most of the time you're, you'll be okay, and, uh, you know, it's, it's better to have the consistency, get the cards that you need to go ahead and set up your combo, so, uh, Triple Pot, uh, then Trap Cards, Triple Battle Mania, so I did this during my opponent's demo phase, and all uh, face up monsters that they control are turned to attack position, and then must attack. So pretty much just attack into my booty. So um, I definitely like Battle Mania, Battle Mania over um, all attack, uh, all attack, all out attack. But uh, Battle Mania was working out just fine, just fine when I got it. Uh, then we got Cross Counter. This card's really good. So. Uh, if the defensive attack position of a defense position monster is higher than attack, then the damage to the attack is double, and then they're uh then they're destroyed. So pretty much if they you know if they attack into my booby and like they cross counter and then they take that damage, damage doubles, and bam, the monster destroyed too. So cross counter definitely great. D two shield double my uh defense. Uh this is permanent, so big booties. Big booty bitches all the time, that's what you like. Uh fairy box triple, because fairy box is putting that work in the live stream. Uh 
Mm, to an extent. I got super unlucky and I was calling the wrong things. Like, for having 50-50 chance, I was getting super unlucky. But uh, Fairy Box, pretty much when your opponent declares an attack, uh, you toss a, you call it, toss a coin, call it right, then their attack becomes zero until the end of the battle phase. So, pretty much you play that and then they run into your booty and they take all that damage. Uh, but you also have to pay 500 during each of your standby phases. So, the, pretty much the idea is to get them to take the chance to attack into your booty and if you call it right, then they're taking all that damage. Or if you can force them to attack as well. Um, we're running double drama trio. Uh, in another drama trio, and some of the tokens, I either activate a ba uh, battle mania or uh, all that attack orders. They the tokens come and attack into the booty, and then you know they take all that damage. So that's pretty much I give you tokens for you to attack into me. And then uh, one all attack orders. Uh, I tried to kind of number generate this, and it's no not as good as battle mania. Uh, pretty much it's a continuous trap card that reads that uh, during the turn that your opponent special summons a monster that they must turn to attack position and they must attack to turn their special summon. So. It's pretty much to combo up with the a drama trio because if I go like you know all out attack orders with a drama trio and I have this then you're pretty much dead because you know all three of the tokens are gonna attack into this you take double damage so you're dead and then uh, like I already told you the combo with inverse universe it doesn't work it doesn't have to work with big show gardener but it can work with others so you can go like you know Aztec you know activate D2 show go up to four thousand pitch you know couple of these, they take all the damage, and then next turn, go ahead, turn yourself to attack, attack, you know, if they don't play anything, you'd be like, alright, during the damage step, go ahead and play inverse universe, switch your attack and defense, and then bam, they're dead, so, pretty much just the deck, just a, a bootylicious defense, offense deck, <laughs> you know, as I always say, that defense is the best offense, anyway, extra deck, I went with triple cowboy, I don't know why, I was just like, eh, fuck it, cowboy, uh, cowboy, it's actually kind of thing that he has a big booty and you know he can bang bang skeet skeet you for game so cowboy <laughs> dweller castells uh crag and uh emerald diamond um uh dark rebellion exiton the wall chain rhapsody uh heartland to attack for game if i need to and then one on one just basic toolbox shit so there you go there is the deck profile for the bootylicious uh April Fool's deck for 2015, so we're going to go ahead and get started working on the next deck for uh, April uh, 1st, 2016. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next April Fool's.